All right, today I'm going to download uh, Lazarus of version 4 uh, release candidate 1 and see if uh, there's a new mode um, in terms of user interface where everything stays in one window. Um, so it's a little different from previous releases. Uh, so I'm just going to test that and test one of my applications to see if it compiles. So we're just going to start by going to SourceForge and we want... Um, Windows 64 bits and Lazarus 4RC1 and we want this file here and yeah it's downloading it looks pretty quick okay just a few more seconds and we're set So hopefully we don't get any kind of virus issues. All right, so we want to run this anyway. It's not assigned exe, so that's why we're getting this message. So run anyway. And I don't have any previous versions of Lazarus installed here, so uh, there shouldn't be any issues at all. So I'm going to accept the defaults. Let's create a, a desktop shortcut and install. So I'm not using any fancy hardware here. Let me just pull up the specs here. So this is just an i5, uh, 16 gigs, and uh, a 240 gig SSD drive. So it's nothing recent, uh, so it, it should still run pretty quick here. I'm not using my regular PC because I have a stable version of Lazarus and I don't want to mess that up so I'm using uh, this spare PC that I dug out. Okay, we're almost there. So I'm going to do uh, two installs basically. So I'm going to do the uh, new version first that has everything in one window because I think everybody's familiar with uh, the old setup. And then I'll, I'll reinstall and show you the old setup. And if you're still interested or not, you can stop watching at that point. All right, so... So as soon as we run it here, it's going to prompt us uh, whether we want to use classic ID multi-window. So that's the old traditional way and the modern single window. And we have a choice here with the uh, forms editor if we want it in the uh, window or out of the window. So um, we can keep it floating or we can keep it in. So I'm going to choose in just to keep everything consistent and let's start. So we can see here everything is in one window now. Uh, but the cool thing is um, we could actually uh, detach this. So if I wanted to pull out the, um, let's just pull out this section here. Um, so all I have to do is basically click here and just move it out. And I could easily put it back. Let me just pick a portion here. There we go. And there it is. It, it collapses back in. And same thing with the object inspector. Let me move it over here and just move it out of here. So we can remove the object inspector and like resize it. So it behaves like the old method, but we could also put it back in here. 
And there we go. So this is the, the major difference, I think, uh, with the version 4. Uh, there's a lot of other changes too, but I think this is the most important one where you could uh, detach the, uh, the different uh, uh, parts of the IDE and like, or keep them together. So if you have a big monitor, I guess you could keep a big window. Uh, the form editor is here, so we could do, let's do a simple, simple form. We'll just do OK button. There we go. So let's just run this and and here we go, it works just like before. So the only difference now is like we have everything in one window. So some people might prefer this and others might not. So what I'm going to do now is just close this down and Discard changes. And I'm going to rerun the installation. Sorry, I'm using, uh, I'm remoting into this PC. That's why we're getting a double, double start menu. Okay, let's go to downloads again. And I'm going to rerun the installation. And what it'll do this time, it'll prompt me to remove the old installation. Yeah, so I'm going to uninstall it. And next. So this time around, I'm going to select the, uh, the classic window so you can see the difference. And we're almost there. Now, if I was editing this, I'd cut this out, but I've given up on video editing. It's too much of a hassle these days. Just skip over this like there's a a forward option on the YouTube uh, controls. And we're getting close. I swear the first time around it went faster. All right, and this part's done. So this time around, we're going to select just the uh, the classic IDE, classic form editor, floating, and we should be able to see the difference. So let me close this window down because we don't need it. So now we have the uh, a separate forms window, a separate editor window, and our menus and everything are on this menu, object inspectors on its own window. Now, I don't know if there's a way to, yeah, it doesn't look like I could, I was wondering if there's a way to turn this into the new method. Maybe there's an option in the, uh, the view here or configuration files. I don't know, I haven't looked for it, but um, this is the main difference you're looking at with uh, version four RC1. So that's it. I didn't want to do anything more uh, in this video. I just wanted to show you the difference in case you didn't want to install it yourself. So that's it. Thanks for watching.